we are now on the uh, top of the hill of Rikens. Over. The Mars 160 objective to conduct twin studies in both the desert and the Arctic under Mars-like conditions is the first of its kind among Mars analog research and includes a multinational crew of eight men and women representing eight countries from around the world. The crew is documenting the presence of lichens, a species that is adapted to extreme environments on Earth and may prove vital in discovering signs of previous life on Mars. They are very much adapted to live in desiccated areas, high UV radiation. That's why they are relevant for uh, you know, Martian prospector. Over 4,000 kilometers from the Utah desert and situated on the edge of a 39 million year old impact crater. The flashline station's uneven terrain and freezing temperatures serve as a constant reminder of the dangers of a real Mars mission. This is our home. This is our habitat on Mars. If we go outside, you're dead. There are some people around the world that say we shouldn't send a crew to Mars because it would be too psychologically hard to, for the crew to handle the situation. Many of them, they don't understand why we are doing it. They think we're just stuck in a tuna can. So I want to show them that we are actually doing it, not just to play around, but for, for our future. Since the Mars Society established the FMAR station in 2000 and MDRS in 2001, nearly 200 crews with well over 1,000 crew members have conducted simulated Mars missions, helping to prepare humanity to explore the red planet and our solar system. I learned a lot about what it takes to plan an expedition, and then once you're actually in simulation, what uh, sort of conditions astronauts would be up against. Really proud that we achieved uh, so much uh, during this program. If someone wants to send us to Mars, we will be ready for that. 